bracket. It'll fit on the 4.8, the 5.3, and the 6.0. So, alternator bracket is the same on all these motors. So we're gonna start off by taking off the protective top cover, the air intake, just to make it more accessible so you guys can see how this is done. We're going to take the 8 millimeter and get the air intake off just so we can get to the tensioner. Once you loosen up those two, just grab onto the intake, pull it back, pull it up, and then you can pull it off the rest of the way and put that off to the side. Now we have the tensioner, which is located right here in front of the fan shroud. We're gonna go ahead, take a 15 millimeter and loosen up the tension and pop the belt off. Now we're going to loosen up the tension on the tensioner. Just use a 15 millimeter socket and a ratchet, push down, pop the belt off. So you just take off the old belt and you put it aside. Now we're gonna loosen up the two bolts for the alternator. In the factory location. Remove those bolts fully. And once we get these out, we're going to lift the alternator out of its current location and put it off to the side. You can always disconnect the battery before performing this procedure. Just use a flat blade screwdriver or pry bar to pop the alternator out of its place. You can set it off to the side. Once you got the alternator out of the way, then we're going to use a pair of vice grips, clamp onto the spacers and remove them. There's one. There's two, real simple. Now we have our alternator bracket. Very simple to put it on. We're gonna take out the two bolts. We're gonna line it up with the existing holes. Then you can put the two bolts in just to hold it temporarily. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna take two of the hard washers that are supplied with the kit, put them over each bolt, and then we're gonna place the alternator back in its home with the washers being up against the back of the bracket. This may take a little bit of finagling because we're going to have to get the alternator in there and not drop the washers, but nothing difficult. Okay, now that we have the two washers back behind the front plate in between the alternator and the front plate, now we're just going to tighten up the bolts. Do not over tighten and try to crank down on this. If you put too much on it, you can actually crack the factory alternator bracket. Okay, once you get the bolts in there, you just tighten them up, just snug them. Don't go crazy with this. That's all that they need, just to be snugged down Okay, now that we have the original alternator back on and snugged down, now we're gonna put the secondary alternator in here. Um, this battery bracket here, to make it easier, you can bend it back some to get clearance to put your alternator in. So 
here we got the new alternator. You just push the bolts in. You have the six washers behind the bracket. That's what ensures that it's going to line up with the belt. Then we just put our nuts on the back and then tighten. Okay, now we're just gonna tighten up both sides. I already have the one side tight. Now we're just gonna tighten this down. Now on this side, you would typically put an additional ground wire to the back of the alternator and then over to your battery. But since this video is just for installation, we're not gonna do that right now. Tighten that one down. Okay, now you grab the new belt, you wrap it identical to the way it was before. The only difference is coming off the power steering pump, we're going to come up around the top of the second alternator, and then we're going to go down around the new idler pulley. So you just gotta take the tension off it and get it wrapped underneath. Then let the tensioner go. You, your tensioner should be sitting a little bit lower than it used to, which is better because it's gonna put additional tension on the belt. Now that we got everything installed as far as the second alternator, the belt back on, now we're just gonna put our air intake back on and our top cover on the engine and it is complete. Wire your alternator dependent on how the manufacturer suggests to wire it. 